Bienvenidas y bienvenidos a este espacio de actividades de educación física vinculadas a las áreas curriculares de Matemática y Ciencias Naturales en el marco de la estrategia Atención a los Educandos de Educación Básica en sus Hogares con el apoyo de padres, madres, tutores y encargados. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and taking care of yourselves, keeping the hygiene and bi biosecurity measures. If you're doing so, I congratulate you. Well, the Secretary of Education and the Subdirectorate General of Physical Education and Sports and the Subdirectorate General of Education for Indigenous and African Honduran people want you to stay strong and healthy at home. Today's physical activity will be in the content of physical conditioning and for health linked to science class to reinforce the topic of the thermal system of the human body for the young people of the 8th grade. Do you know that the human body is a thermodynamic system? Do you want to know what type of thermal system is in the human body? Do you want to experience what happens to your body temperature when you exercise? Well, thermodynamic is the part of the science that studies the flow of energy in the form of heat in the body. Due to the increase of loss of heat from the release of energy. Thermodynamic systems are classified as three different groups. Isolated system where there is no exchange of matter or heat with the environment. For example, a thermal that maintains the temperature of the internal liquid regardless of the temperature outside. The second one is closed system. They only exchange heat and not matter or mass with the environment. For example, a sardine can that a sardine, a sardine can sorry that can be heated or cooled and the amount inside does not change. Lastly, open systems. The open systems are an exchange of matter and heat with the environment. For example, a car when it is torn and exchanges energy through the, com the combustion on matter by consuming gasoline and moving forward. The human body is an open thermal system which must keep its temperature constant at 37 degrees, despite being in the environment at a much lower or higher temperature. When we exercise, the human body raises its temperature and therefore mechanisms that reduce heat are activated. For example, sweating, perspiration, slowing down the thermogenesis, the thermogenesis bone itself, the body itself stops producing heat to maintain balance and vasodilatation to avoid friction in the blood vessels, avoiding and producing more heat. When we are exposed to low temperatures, the opposite happens. The body activates other mechanisms to conserve heat, such as releasing adrenaline, increasing heat rate and blood pressure together with vasoconstriction. Thermogenesis accelerates. Micromuscle constrictions are produced by striving or trembling of the body. Example, when we swim in a pool for a long time. Okay, today we will carry out an exercise routine with which you can verify that the body is an open thermal system. Uh -huh. The energy of your body with the environment around you and with the matter due to caloric consumption and the loss of fluids due to sweat as we do a routine of physical exercise to increase the heat. Okay, of each exercise we will perform three series of 20 repetitions to the meaning of the trot in its place that will do it continuously for five minutes. Today, the brown heat is going to help us do some of these exercises. Come on. 
we're going to do the trot run in place or run in place for five minutes. Very good. Now we're going to do 20 jumping jacks. Very good. Next, we're going to do jumps with knee to chest. Thank you, LeBron. Very good. To reinforce what we have learned and to acquire a healthy lifestyle, we must carry out a different exercise routine according to our creativity, maybe two or three times a week. That is all for today, and I will be waiting for you in the next installment. Remember, we want you to keep studying at esta ha sido una producción de la Secretaría de Educación de Honduras a través de la Subdirección de Educación Física y Deportes, en coordinación con la Subdirección General de Educación Básica y la Dirección General de Desarrollo Profesional.